Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and today I'm going to share with you how to create this 5 second light filter in Photoshop that we usually see on Instagram. We're going to take it a step further by learning how this actually works so that we can create various variations of the same. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop, if you want to download any of the photos, check the link in the description. Are you ready for this? It's very simple. All you have to do, create a gradient. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose gradient. Now, you have to single click on this to choose the gradient and choose this gradient. If you cannot see it, click on this gear icon and click on reset gradients and hit OK. Now, you just choose this gradient, orange and violet, click on this one and hit OK. Now. Hit OK again. We can change that later. Change the blend mode from normal to since this is a light effect, we're going to make things brighter. Now, what is the blend mode which makes things brighter? Screen, right? So let's change the blend mode to screen and have a look. The classic Instagram filter that we usually see on Instagram and many other applications. All right. So have a look at the before and after. Before after not even five seconds as quick as that all right so we can modify it in several ways just double click on the icon this opens up the properties of the gradient fill any adjustment layer that you apply just double click on the symbol for that adjustment layer, and the properties will show up all right so here you have a couple of options we will talk about styles later however let's talk about scale what scale does is just simply makes the gradient bigger that's all it is it makes the gradient bigger so play with it the gradient is very small as you can see, the changes are rapid, so we can make things bigger by using scale. We don't want so much, let's leave it at 100, 100 was fine for this one. Now we can reverse, so if we click on reverse as you can see it reversed, easy. Now let's single click on this and if you click on either of the sliders just once, you can move this middle one. What happens is that this controls the balance of the two colors. So if you take it to the right, as you can see less of orange and more of violet. If you take it to the left, you will see more of orange, less of violet. Easy, right? Hit OK. And that's all there is. And at the end, I would actually leave it in the middle. So I would choose probably 50. You can type in the location as well and hit OK. OK over there and just decrease the opacity and we are pretty much done. Now let's move to example number two and in this example we will understand how this actually works and how can we create variations of the same. So we'll do the same, click on the adjustment layer icon and choose gradient. We're going to choose the same gradient, single click on this one and choose the same orange and violet and hit OK. OK and change the blend mode to screen as we did before. Now this looks great here as well but we can make changes to that. First of all let's understand why is this working. So on the right hand side we have orange. On the left hand side we have violet in the gradient, right? So what's special about these two colors? If you look at the color wheel, let's go to windows and extensions and Adobe color themes. So inside of color themes, if we choose the color rule as complementary, and if you have a look at the orange, you see it's opposite to this blue, not exactly the opposite of violet, however, it's somewhere nearby. So we can say that both are closely opposite colors in the color wheel. Now in a color wheel, opposite colors are called complementary colors, right? So that's one. So since these colors are opposite to each other, when we have both of them, it adds a punch to the image. Now you can create any complementary color scheme if you want. So if you want to choose red, have a look at the opposite. It's a little bit greenish. So it's not necessary that you choose green. You can choose nearby colors as well. So that's the theory behind it. Complementary colors add punch to the image. Why? Because they are opposite to each other in the color wheel. Now that's one of the reasons why the colors look good together. There's a second reason to this as well. Now what's the second reason? If you have a look at the colors, if I double click on this one, single click and have a look at the gradient. So double click on this, have a look at the color. What is the brightness? Brightness is 100%, okay, of the orange. Hit OK. Have a look at this one. What is the brightness? It's 35. It's not 100 this time. So there's a gap in the brightness. There's a gap in the hue. So it makes all the difference. Now you can change the color to anything that you like. But first of all, let's understand the direction. Hit cancel. Let's cancel it this time. Cancel. Now. Where is the light coming from? The light is not coming from top to bottom. 
it's coming from right to left so we can choose the angle the direction so light is in this direction so we can control that and it looks great we can also choose this no this is not the direction i think this is the direction all right so it looks great now the colors are looking a little off i don't like the colors so you can change the colors it's not necessary that you use orange and violet just single click on this one and you can change the color just double click on this do not change the brightness we don't want to fiddle with that we can change the hue so let's make it a little reddish as we saw on the color wheel right so hit ok once you're done selecting this hit ok and on the left hand side let's choose blue as we did or we also saw green so green is not looking nice in this case so we will choose this color and it also looks great right and hit ok if you're satisfied and ok there you go so you can create as many color schemes as you like just have a look at the color wheel and boom and you know what you don't even have to look at the color wheel choose any color that you like all right by the way did you know that photoshop already comes with tons of gradient presets that you can directly apply not just these there are more all right so click on this gear icon and choose photographic toning hit ok and have a look at the number of gradients so you can choose any one that you like if you like this kind of color just simple white to black choose this one have a look at the variation have a look at this the brown tint around the shadow there are tons of variation that you can choose from just keep clicking on this and just play with these so if you want to increase the grays or increase the blues just take it to the left take it to the right just play with these so you can choose any one that you like as a starting point and then you can play with the sliders or even change the color of each individual slider so there's this one there's this one now to me this looks wonderful this gives a nice lens flare to this you can play with this i'm going to take it a little bit to the left or something like this it's wonderful choose this one or that one it's endless <laughs> the number of presets amazing right you can choose your own colors you can choose these presets you can modify them you can change the direction the possibilities are endless time to move to example number three and in this example we're going to be talking about styles now what do we mean by styles let's have a look at this click on the adjustment layer icon and simply again choose gradient now inside of gradient you will see style we're going to come back to that later let's choose the color single click on this one and we're going to choose the old color so click on the gear icon and choose reset and hit ok let's come to this one and we're satisfied with this hit ok and hit ok for this one and change the blend mode to screen all right now i want you to have a look at this image in this image this linear gradient is not looking right so at the top we have the orange and at the bottom simply we have the violet however it would be much better if this was in a circular form because she's outside and she has the sunlight so sun is circle it's sphere actually so if the light was in circular radial form it would be much better right and how can we do that change simple just change the style double click on this and change the style from linear to radio now have a look at this but this is exactly the opposite in the sun structure we have the violet which is dark and outside we have orange we don't want that to happen so we will click reverse we can also change the color over here but simply just click reverse we want the light to be over here and increase the scale as we discussed scale is simply the size so increase it like this and it already looks amazing doesn't it so just like it you can play with the values and you can move this while this is open while the gradient fill properties are open you can move this to any point that you like for me i think this point would be great and i will increase the value to 275 that's fine and hit okay and there you go you can change the color to any color that you like i'm going to change the color i think so we will make it a little more yellowish probably not so much this is fine hit okay and let's play with this color okay i'm happy with this hit okay now anytime you can change the color it doesn't really matter and at this point of time you can also choose photographic toning hit okay and you can change the color from here as well there are a lot of variations that you can choose from and that's pretty much it so that's how you can easily apply light filters in literally five seconds using gradients in photoshop just as a quick recap all you have to do click on the adjustment layer icon and choose gradient so not gradient map gradient fill and then 
choose anyone that you like choose any gradient that you like the orange and violet most of the times looks great choose that one or choose anyone just if you want to just try with the different presets choose photographic toning you already have a ton of them choose any preset that you like hit ok hit ok again and change the blend mode to screen because this is light and we want to make sure that we only brighten stuff and that's all for this video i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing i would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for supporting this channel on patreon and helping keep pix imperfect free for everybody forever thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating so there's a gap in the brightness there's a gap in the hue so it makes all the difference Thank <laughs> you.